Hi, my name is Nancy. I am a native Oklahoman. Um, I'm in my early 60s. I'm still working as a teacher. Um, I grew up in a time in Oklahoma when it was heavily uh, Democratic. My parents helped elect the first Republican governor since statehood, Henry Bowman. And then my father subsequently served um, on Henry's campaign staff when he ran for the United States Senate. The Republicans I grew up around are nothing like the Republicans I see today. In fact, I wonder who are these people? Um, the Republican Party seems to have lost the concept of the common good. They refuse to fund uh, public education appropriately. Oklahoma has refused Medicaid help from the federal government that Obama put in place, which means that our rural hospitals are slowly dying, uh, not to mention um, people not receiving the medical care that they need um, in rural and in poor communities. Uh, I voted for Donald Trump in 2016 reluctantly uh, because I felt at the time that um, Hillary Clinton would be the, the greater of the two evils, more or less. Um, since then, um, I have tried to kind of ignore what Trump does and just hope, cross my fingers and hope that we could get through four years without a major crisis. Well, I lost that bet. Um, and Trump made it obvious, um, at least for me, because I hadn't been paying that much attention before when the pandemic hit, who he, he's made obvious who he really is. Uh, and it, I'm just appalled. And I'm appalled at the Republicans that blindly support the idiocy that he displays every day. Uh, I felt that I could no longer uh, support this party, and so I have changed my voter registration to independent. I have voted Republican in every presidential election since 1976, um, but I don't know who these people are anymore, so I will be voting for Joe Biden this year. Um, I will also be voting uh, for every other congressional Democrat that I can vote for because um, our state senator, Jim Inhofe, was one of the ones who profited from his insider knowledge and sold out stock just before the pandemic hit. Um, he's not been held to account for that. And that and a multitude of other reasons, it's time for him to leave the Senate. Um, Trump is a danger to our country He's a danger to our democracy, and he needs he needs to go. Uh, and I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that happens.